Where's the iPhone 6? I'm going to plug it in. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us again today. My name is Dr. G and I am a scientist with High Touch High Tech of Maine. Um, again, joining with me, sheltering in place at home, uh, are Lightning Liam. Lightning Liam and um, a sleepy mode of <laughs> uh -huh. Electric E. Electric E. And Electric E is looking for an alternative name because he doesn't like his current scientific name. So if you have something else good for him, it has to start with an E. Um, go ahead and, and offer some, uh, give us some suggestions. Maybe he will choose a new name on a later date. Okay, so before we start talking about our experiment today, does anybody know what we celebrate today? Any idea? Earth Day. Earth Day, right, very good. To be precise, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So you may have had some plans of what you would do for Earth Day. It's true that we are all sheltering in place, but there's still things that you can do, and I thought maybe we can share some ideas. So go ahead and send us a message of what your suggestions and how we can celebrate our Earth. Uh, you may join us a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about compost and made compost in a cap in a cup. That will be a great idea to celebrate Earth Day. Uh, maybe you want to plant something. Uh, maybe you want to take a safe uh, walk while you are maintaining social distance. So anything that is really celebrating Earth um, and celebrating Earth Day will be a great thing to do today. We are going to post some ideas of what you can and may choose to do to celebrate Earth Day. So. Uh, today, we are going to do an experiment exploring something that looks like, or designing something that looks like, a lava lamp. Uh, do you know what a lava lamp is? How does it look like? What happens there? I think it gets heated up, and then stuff inside of it have colors, and they like float around and move. Okay, very good. And what else? Glow. Yeah. Like, uh, any other thoughts, Eli? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it doesn't explode. It doesn't explode. No, we're going to do something that is safe. That's a good guess. So for our experiment today, we will need the following materials. We will need uh, either a cup, a bottle cup, take from your recycle bin uh, with a cap, or you can do it in just any uh, jar or plastic clear cup. Any of those options will work. We are going to use that as an example. So don't worry if you don't have a clean bottle, um, water cup, or a water bottle, sorry. Then we will also need a little bit of vinegar, baking soda, food coloring, and oil. You may or may not have eyedropper. We have a pipette. If you don't have an eyedropper or a pipette, we can also work around that. Okay. So maybe just a little spoon, like a dessert spoon, that would work as well. So we're going to be creative with the materials that you have at home. Yeah, and I think that's it. You may want to funnel if you're working with a water cup, a water bottle. If you're working with cups or jars, you don't need a funnel. So let's start designing our um, baking soda lava lamp, and we'll continue discussing while we are doing some observations. So the first thing that we want to do is to put a spoon, maybe not a spoonful, but kind of a flat. A spoon full of baking soda on the bottom of your cup. So go ahead and do that. Yeah, very good. Go ahead and put a spoon of baking soda on the bottom. 
Very good. Oh, very good. And now we are going to cover it with oil. So, yeah. if there's something I did in the past with this mixing with oil, then what, what happened when you mix that? Got what happened when you mix oil with baking soda? It rises. It rises? Would it? Um, Let's check. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? I think it absorbs. It, it absorbs. Yeah. It like warm. Oh, okay. Let's check. Let's check if what you think is correct. Go ahead. Pour some oil. You just want you, you want to cover it and a little bit more. But you want to make sure that all the baking soda is covered with oil. So that will be a good amount. Do you see how our baking soda is covered with oil? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it turns to like okay. fluff. Kind yeah. Of, like it looks really dark. So so what happened? Oh, oh, oh. It, um, yeah, oxygen or, um... Did it, did it change? Yes, yes. Really? No. No, but it has air bubbles in it. But the mic was a little bit of, maybe the oil from whatever reason got a little bit wet, uh, but did it significantly change? What happened to, so Liam said no, and that's a good observation. What happened to the baking soda? It... Just Oops. like fluffy. Yeah, it's just kind of a wet blob on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. Would you say that it reacted with the oil? Yes. Yes. Yes, it reacted. Did it change, no, or is no, it no. kind of the same? It's kind of. It's kind of. Yeah. Kind of. It was like. Never mind. No. It's more. It's more. Nothing changed. Yeah. Then something changed, <laughs> but yeah. there is something that changed. Yeah. Like, so there's like. One quarter of tree. Okay, like so uh, very good. You may have observed it at home as well. So it looks like it's kind of surrounded by the oil, right? But it still seems like the baking soda is quite the same there on the bottom, right? So if it looks the same, it doesn't always mean that it's the same, but in this case, it is uh, not reacting. So uh, what happens is there is no reaction. The baking soda is just laying there, surrounded mm -hmm. by the oil on top of it, mm -hmm. right? Now, what do you think will happen if we will add vinegar? It will definitely react, but I don't know what the reaction will be. Okay. <laughs> Liam said it will definitely react. That's a good guess. What, it will, what will it react with? Will it react with the oil? Um... The vinegar and oil will react. The vinegar and oil will react? That's right. Or the baking soda. So, baking soda and vinegar, or? Baking soda and vinegar. What about the vinegar and, um, I'm sorry, the oil and vinegar, will they react? Maybe they both will react. So, let's try. Let's try it, right? We're scientists. We want to get the answers. So, let's go ahead and mix the oil. And vinegar. We have more vinegar here. Let's color it just for fun. Yay. And a few drops of color. Oh, oh, that's like. Yeah. If you don't have it, that's okay. Again, if you don't have food dyes, you may substitute it with okay. any color dyes. <laughs> well, Liam's saying juice, uh, any juice that would work too, but just ask your parents that it's okay to do it. Um, so let's just mix here only oil and vinegar. Ready? Only oil and vinegar. Without the baking soda. Let's put our baking soda aside and let's see what happens when we only mix oil and vinegar. Again, if you don't have a pipette or an eyedropper, just use a, a small dessert spoon. Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah. Go ahead. Two whole things? You can do two. Uh, oh, yes, yes. It um, makes. Let, let's, let's, let's give our friends an opportunity to observe what happened, just in case they're not doing it with us. So, what we did here, we just mixed oil and vinegar. Did they react? Did they mix? 
What do you think? Are they mixing or are they just separating? Remember what we learned yesterday? Uh, what was it yesterday? Density. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do they mix or do they separate? Separate. They separate, right? Very good. They do not mix. The way the structure is doesn't allow them to mix together. So which one is more dense? Which one goes to the bottom? The vinegar. Very good. So they don't mix, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the vinegar is heavier, is more dense, rather, sorry, and it's going to the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Don't forget what we learned yesterday, density. Now, what do you think will happen if in the bottom we will Those have react. baking soda? Very good. So most of you know that baking soda and vinegar react, right? So if oh. we have the baking soda in the bottom, it will react with the vinegar. But in the absence of baking soda, the vinegar is just creating another, essentially another layer on the bottom because it's more dense. Very good. So now we're all good and we are ready to continue. So we have a good guess of what will happen. Go ahead, take your eyedropper or pipette or spoon and just one, yeah, just one, one full pipette and let's observe. I'll take well, one of you. Uh, um, it's uh, bubbles are coming up from the vinegar. So what's happening? Bubbles are coming up and it's flowing kind of. It's coming, well, also the bubbles are coming up to the top like they have less density all of a sudden. Uh, are they less? Some of them. Uh, I'm sorry, what is less dense? Like all um, the vinegar um, becomes less dense. The, is, is it the vinegar or is it the, vi is the vinegar or the vinegar becomes something else? when it's reacting oh ah, that's an interesting concept very good i love it okay so let's observe observe it for another second and talk about what we see ready mm -hmm. okay so as we saw before when we only mixed here the oil with the vinegar what happened to the vinegar it went to the Bottom. bottom right did it react no no but now we have baking soda in the bottom right and what does baking soda and vinegar do they react they react how do you know that they react what do you see well um you see with the Oil and vinegar, there's like no bubbles coming right. up from there. Right, very good. But then with, when it's mixed with the baking set, there's a lot of air bubbles coming up. Very good. As Liam observed, there are a lot of bubbles coming out. What are bubbles? Any idea? Yeah. Um, they are little well sometimes they can be big but they're things filled with air yeah so, so it's some type of gas right yes yeah, surrounded a, by liquid yeah and that's what bubbles are yeah that's pretty cool so those bubbles are actually gas called carbon dioxide can we all say carbon dioxide carbon dioxide where is it coming from Suddenly we have carbon dioxide. Where is it coming from? The baking powder. The baking soda? Yeah. Doing what with the vinegar? Reacting. Reacting. Very good. So what we're doing here is a chemical reaction. When we do a chemical reaction, the two things that are mixing together becoming something new. And the new thing in this case is carbon dioxide. And as Liam observed, the carbon dioxide is not dense. So once it's made through the reaction, it's going up. And where is it now? Did you see it? Um, I think it's here. Or here. Can you catch it? I think it's everywhere. What do you think? It's here, here. No, no, no. 
Yeah, it's all around us. <laughs> it went all around. You said, and it's you now, say it. And it's now all over the room, right? It didn't disappear. You just can't see it. Okay. So what did we learn today? Is vinegar more or less dense than oil? More. More dense than oil. Very good. Does vinegar react with oil? No. No. What about the baking soda? Yes. Yes, it reacts with baking soda. So while I hear it didn't react with the oil, and you see just remain unchanged. No chemical reaction. Here we see chemical reaction in action, right? Do you see the bubbles? Do you see the carbon dioxide generated through the chemical reaction? And as Liam pointed out, less dense. I'm going up and going into outside of the cup and all around us. Try to catch it. Okay, friends. Well, thank you for making Lava Lamp with us today and learning about chemical reactions. Continue to observe your lava lamps and don't forget to celebrate Earth Day. Be safe. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.